Hello everyone and welcome to a Simple Bonus Gaming guys. Today we are here looking at an awesome picture that Brody actually tweeted out on the Twitter page of Pokemon Planet. And before this video even goes any further guys, I want you to click the link down below in the description and you guys should follow Pokemon Planet on Twitter because Brody's always posting some awesome screenshots and stuff of like new updates and stuff. As you can see here, this is Vermilion City. This is what Vermilion City is going to look like in the near future. Um, so be looking out for those HD um, map new like new uploads and stuff the new the re-uploaded maps and stuff Brody if you're watching this dude you're doing a good job with the maps and stuff I really appreciate that the the look of the game um, is very important it's, it's always important to like you know visually make a game look awesome because this the sucky graphics just gonna turn players away but anyways let's go ahead and look into some of the new stuff that Brody actually has in his like inventory and stuff as well as some other things over on the chat box now the first thing you're gonna see whenever you look over in the inventory at the very top is going to be the fungus hat. There's a new fungus hat. It looks like a Pokeball. It's pretty cool. So if you guys like a fungus, a mungus, or whatever the Pokemon's name is, that's the hat that you're gonna wear for that Pokemon. Also, one of the coolest things that Brody's ever released in an update recently is gonna be portable PCs. So a portable PC is just like a Pokemon Center, not a Pokemon Center, but like a Pokemon. Uh, computer that you can like change your Pokemon out and you can put it anywhere in the game it's portable and the best thing about it guys if we go over here to the chat box you guys can see it portable PCs are usable by other players obviously because it gives the 500 plus philanthropist points which is amazing guys you can get these um, I'm sure you can get these from like the store probably you can probably buy these I'm sure this update will come out soon and we'll get the main like specs and stuff of what's gonna be happening and how it works uh, yeah, but the portable PC is going to get philanthropist points, which is amazing. And something, I don't know what it is, but over in the chat it says you've purchased a die for 400C. Um, I'm not sure what a die is. It's some kind of like new thing to maybe change the color of your clothes, color, the color of your like items and something. I, I have no idea, man. Maybe there's some kind of new thing you can do. Uh, but we'll we'll figure out eventually. And also, he purchased some bleach for 50 uh, credits. I don't know what the, I guess the bleach gets the die out. It's like the thing that counteracts the die. I have no idea. Um, but, I, but I guess that's what that is. And also, aviator sunglasses. Brody purchased some aviator sunglasses. And there's one more thing I gotta show you guys before you can see anything else. This is one of the things that was most requested in Pokemon Planet overall. And that, guys, is HMD Fog. Brody has HMD Fog. And you can see Tatu Zatu um, right there. Uh, which, that, that's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, so yeah, you can all see where the, the Fungus hat was purchased for 500 credits. Um, that, that's pretty cool but one more thing that we can look at on this video that's kind of hidden is going to be up here above the chat box there's gonna be a NPC Taurus Daniel B so it looks like there's gonna be a little bit more NPCs in the game maybe some side quests maybe some things in the game that Brody's been working on because uh, right now the game is kind of just an empty shell all you can do is just collect Pokemon and fight uh, the, the gym leaders so it's kind of just like a repetitive empty game all the way into Hoenn and then you're finished with the game nothing, nothing left to do really um, so I think he's gonna be adding some NPCs for some more in-game things give the game a little more thickness I'm not sure what to say there for that but um, it's, it's pretty good now whenever we look at Froakie I see something really weird there that Froakie it has a focus sash perma what is a focus sash perma does that does that mean that there's a focus sash that is gonna be permanently there because like you know how you use them and they're gone? Maybe this is a new uh, focus sash that you can use once per battle, but it's permanently there, it doesn't go away. That's gonna cost a lot of money. That's gonna be a good item though, that's a good item. You know, that's, a, that's worth your money. It saves all the money you're spending on focus sashes and stuff, but that looks pretty cool. If that's a real thing, I gotta get one of those. Now earlier guys, I spoke on the die. If you look in the inventory right now, the top hat is usually, usually black, but if you look at this little text next to it, his mouse is over the thing. I don't know what the numbers mean, but it says Top Hat died. And if you look at Brody's NPC over here, the Top Hat is actually white, which is crazy. That is actually crazy. Um, but guys, I think that's pretty much it for the updates and stuff. If you guys see anything else in this picture that I didn't go over, um, be sure to tell me in the comments down below, guys. Also, if you want to tell me the coolest updates that you thought was in this video, or also other updates that could be like coming in the future that you guys want to see, just go ahead, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. You guys are the greatest fans of all time. See you next time.